Hey guys, Sam Millard here. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Bluetooth capabilities of Kestrel's new 5700 Elite. I'm going to pair it up to my iPhone 6 that has Kestrel Ballistic Link app installed in it and show you what it'll do. Okay, for the demonstration I have it mounted in Kestrel's vane mount. This is a wind vane mount. Uh, it's real simple to put together and real simple to put the, the Kestrel in. It comes in this cool little case. Uh, what it allows the, the meter to do is rotate freely in the wind. It has a little spindle down here that's very sensitive and the wind catches this vane and it just pulls it in the direction that the wind's blowing. So if it was pointed right here, the wind would be blowing this direction. Uh, it works really well. I have it sitting on top of my Slick 624 carbon fiber tripod. It's plenty of tripod for even the biggest wind that I've played with uh, with this meter. It's been uh, 30 miles an hour, I think. Right now, of course, we have no wind. We're at the tail end of a cold front. The wind all blew out last night. I was hoping to catch some of it this morning, but anyway, this is the wind vane mount. Uh, this is what I'm going to use to demonstrate it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the remote wind reading capability that the 5700 with Link gives you. If you have this mounted up in the vane mount on a tripod like this, you can set it up and walk away from it and get yourself into position to take a shot where you might not be able to feel what the wind's doing. In other words, you can put this uh, meter on top of this tripod out in the most exposed part of the area that you're shooting from and let it tell you what the wind is doing without even standing next to it or looking at it. Uh, we'll move on to the phone in a minute, but before we do that, we need to set this up to do that for us. So let's say we're going to take a shot straight away from here. We need to do a target capture. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the capture button, hit it again, and now the meter knows that I'm shooting at a heading of 142 degrees. The next thing we need to do is scroll down to wind and let it do a live capture on the wind as well. So what it's going to do now is it's going to constantly give us live updates and this vane mount is going to be moving in the wind and the velocity of the wind is going to be changing and it's going to know which direction it's coming from because we did a target capture. In order to make this work also we're going to have to uh, mess with the, the display auto time off. To do that we're going to exit out, we're going to come to this screen, we're going to scroll down until we get to display. We're going to open that up. I have it set on 15 minute auto shutdown. I'm going to go ahead and for the video, and I hope it doesn't take this long, set that to 60 minutes and then exit back out again. Okay, we're in our sheltered shooting position now. I can't really feel what the wind's doing. I've got a line of trees here on this side. I've got a line of trees on the other side. I want to take a shot at 1,322 yards straight away. I have the Kestrel behind me about 25 yards away. And what it's going to do for me is it's going to give me a constant live wind update once I pair up my phone to the Kestrel. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hook up the iPhone 6 to the Kestrel 5700. First thing you need to do is make sure that you are off airplane mode. You need to be live. In order, in order for Bluetooth to work, you cannot be on airplane mode. You don't have to have cell phone service, but you cannot be on airplane mode. So I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to go to my Kestrel Link Ballistic app down here in the bottom corner. Turn it on. Do a device selection. It's going to see it. Make sure that your phone, that you follow the directions of your phone on how to pair up a device to it and make it visible to your phone. Uh, once you do that, you'll get this little prompt here that tells you what the ID number for your uh, Kestrel is. That's the one I want. So I'm going to do a single target engagement. As soon as you uh, pair up to it, you can see that I have a good connection with that blue Bluetooth symbol in the bottom right corner. But as soon as you pair up to that Kestrel, it's going to set your yardage to zero. So you're going to control all of your distance, all of your yardage information here on your phone. So you scroll on a screen, you just swipe the screen, and boy, it'll go fast. Or you can just push the buttons down here to do fine tuning. But I like to swipe it. So you just get going. We're going to set it up for that 1,322 yard shot. Thirteen hundred twenty-two yards. So now this is going to give me my elevation correction right away, thirty-seven point four, and it's going to give me a live wind update as that kestrel's up there spinning around on the vane mount. So in this position, I can't really tell exactly what the wind direction is, or even 
uh, I mean I have no idea what the velocity is from here so in order to to get a uh, reading I would have to get up and have to move away from this position go feel what the winds doing or whatever and then come back and make the shot with the Kestrel up there giving me my live wind updates it's giving me a, a minute by minute account of what the winds doing you can see that dial around the the numbers there in the center that is the wind direction indicator so you can see that the yellow is lit up at the two o'clock position so that's the direction that the wind is that the Kestrel sees the wind coming from in relation to the target uh, capture that we did. That had been a pretty sweet time to shoot right there. You know, just like any other method of reading the wind, uh, you take what you can get, basically. In, in other words, when I'm reading wind, I use everything. I listen to it, I watch through my spotting scope at vegetation uh, on the target side of the canyon I'm shooting across. I try to see mirage if it's if it's showing itself and I use a Kestrel to give me a baseline for the wind speed. I also use it to get a direction sometimes because it can be pretty tricky to tell exactly which direction the wind's coming from. I don't know how much uh, usefulness this kind of a Bluetooth thing will have for mountain hunters or whether or not you'll want to carry an extra tripod to support that Kestrel. But I could certainly see a guy say in uh, the southwest desert or even in the open plains in the upper midwest or montana or wyoming where this would really give you an edge on reading wind you could stay in position behind the gun with your phone out like that or an ipad for that matter and watch what the kestrel is seeing while you're behind the gun and if you're working with a spotter that would be even better the spotter could be watching it you could be timing the ebbs and flows and all that of the wind and he could send you uh, in a bracket that that you're prepared for in other words if he's prepared for three miles an hour at two o'clock to send you and the wind dies or it speeds up considerably you know he can either tell you to hold one side or the other to the target or just tell you to wait and as soon as he sees that bracket coming in place again he can send you because there's a, a very distinct time frame for uh, wind speed and direction if you watch it it'll come and go in uh, very measurable amounts of time that will allow you to take a shot uh, for the correction that you want. Another app you can use with your 5700 is the Kestrel uh, Link app, not the Ballistics app. And what it does is it shows you all of the uh, environmental conditions and everything that your device is reading. So it hooks up the same way, it's looking for it. Instead of using a blue Bluetooth symbol, it's going to use several bars. And what it does, okay, and this is another thing it does, is that you can do firmware updates through this app wirelessly you do not have to hook up to a computer uh, it's pretty cool maybe I'll show that to you uh, let's see how the battery life on the phone's holding out uh, for now I'm not going to do it because it'll erase everything on the Kestrel so I'm gonna hit cancel what this is doing is it's showing us exactly what direction the Kestrel is pointed at right now it's showing a station pressure and temperature air temperature uh, you can set this screen to show you three things that you want to see uh, another thing you can do is go into your readings and you can see all the environmental conditions that the Kestrel is seeing right now. Okay, we're doing a firmware update. It looks like it's just finishing up now. Uh, this is for the Kestrel 5700. We're doing it through the Kestrel Link app on the phone. And when we're done here, all the information on the, the 5700 will be erased, meaning all the gun profiles will be gone. Uh, all the targeting information we were just working on is gone. And I'll show you how to 
uh, transfer gun profiles that you have stored on the, the phone in the ballistics app onto the K5700. Okay, you can see there in the about screen on the Kestrel, it shows you uh, what the model is, the serial number, the firmware version. Mine is 1.07 now, it was 1.05. It has wiped out everything on the Kestrel. So all of my gun profiles are gone. All of my preferences are gone. I'm going to have to do a compass calibration. I'm going to have to go in and turn Bluetooth on. I'm going to have to uh, do my preferences for yards rather than meters, uh, for my targeting info, MOA instead of mills, all that stuff. You have to set it all back up after a firmware update. It also uh, kicks the battery in the ass and really drags it down. In fact, it's the only time I've, I've updated the firmware on this twice now, and that's the only time I've replaced the battery in it. Uh, it's pretty hard on it, so uh, just so you know. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm going to shortcut this, uh, I'll do all my preferences later, but the first thing you need to do is turn your Bluetooth on on the Kestrel itself uh, before you start trying to upload any uh, gun profiles. And then the next thing you're going to do is go into your gun profile, your gun management screen on the phone in your Kestrel Ballistics app. And there's all my profiles right there on the screen. I selected all the ones that I want to put back onto the Kestrel. Once I have them selected, I'm going to hit Send Profiles. And you'll see them start to uh, populate the, the gun screen on the Kestrel there. There, now all my gun profiles that I had on my ballistics app in the phone are back onto the Kestrel. And I'll tell you what, it's the biggest reason and the only reason that I need to have a link capable Kestrel is for doing gun profile management because I can't imagine having to uh, manually input all those letters and numbers and everything into the Kestrel. Uh, it's not like the old 4500 where you could do it wirelessly on your computer. So, uh, you know, having the app on a, a mobile device like an iPad or a phone is worth its weight in gold when you have to do gun profile management. Okay, I've got all my stuff entered back into it. I got all my preferences set, all my units set, all that kind of stuff. Uh, one thing I would recommend if you do a firmware update is just go ahead and replace the battery right then and there. Uh, it went from 85% uh, when I fired up to show me how much battery life was left to 43% after the firmware update. It'll go for a long ways on 43, but you have to do a compass calibration and all that stuff anyway. So. Uh, it's a really good time to replace a battery. You have to have your compass calibrated to use this remotely like that. Otherwise you can't do a target capture and you can't do a wind capture. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. So anyway, that was all about the link, the Bluetooth, uh, using it in a remote position from a protected firing position. I'm sure I left some stuff out. Uh, leave it in the comments section and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.